Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about differences between transformer and induction machine. First of all, what are the similarities for these two? What are the similarities? First one, the transformer is a single excited device, single excited machine or single excited device. As well as our induction machine also single excited machine only single excited machine only this is one similarity and next one the basic principle of the transformer is what is the basic principle of the transformer the basic principle of the transformer is basic principle of the transformer is mutual induction mutual induction as well as in our induction machine also the basic principle is the basic principle is mutual induction only mutual induction only the basic principle for both the machines is same and both the machines are both the machines are single excited machines only and generally you know that the transformer and induction machines are single excited whereas whereas dc machine and synchronous machines are double excited and in generally in double excited machines power conduction will take place power conduction will take place whereas in single excited machines what will take place the power induction will take place in these two cases power transfer due to induction in these two cases power transfer due to induction like that mutual induction i said you already right here power transfer due to induction in double excited machines power transfer due to conduction we are telling like that okay whatever here the similarities between these two the transformer is single excited machine as well as our induction machine also single excited machine and the basic principle of the transformer is mutual induction as well as the basic principle of the induction machine also mutual induction the name itself indicates induction machine mutual induction the basic principle is that mutual induction and generally the power transfer due to induction in our induction machine also power transfer due to induction these are the similarities between these two machines similarities between these two machines what are the differences between these two machines tell me what are the differences yeah sir we know well known what are the differences first one transformer is a static electrical device transformer is a static electrical device we know that whereas induction machine is a rotating electrical device it is a rotating electrical device right then still more what are the differences between them generally here the primary as well as the secondary both are stationary whereas in induction machine the stator is stationary but rotor is rotating rotor is rotating now they are asking question for example in transformer they are asking question in competitive exams for example in transformer if the secondary is rotating in my transformer my secondary is a rotating part then it is equivalent to the rotating secondary transformer equivalent to induction machine yes or no both are same mutual induction process but here secondary is the stationary here rotor is rotating if the secondary is rotating it is equal into two induction machine exactly exactly here also if the the rotor is a stationary part in induction machine if the rotor is stationary part in induction machine this is equal into two transformer this is equal to transformer if stationary is the rotating if the secondary the secondary is the rotating it is equal to induction machine if the rotor is stationary it is equal to transformer as we know that up to here still what are the differences between still 
Generally, in transformer, the frequency in secondary circuit is exactly equal to the frequency in primary circuit. That's why we are called as frequency is a constant frequency device. Constant frequency device. Why? Because the frequency in secondary winding is exactly equal to the frequency in primary winding. Whereas in our induction machine, whereas in our induction machine, the rotor frequency is not equal to stator frequency. Rotor frequency, not exactly equals to stator frequency, but the rotor frequency is equals to slip times of the stator frequency. Slip times of the stator frequency. I will give you details about slip latter. Now just remember this, the rotor frequency is equals to slip times of the stator frequency. Now they are asking question, in the following two machines, transformer and induction machine. We have two machines, one is the transformer and one is the induction machine. Now tell me, which of the following is called as frequency matching device? Yeah, exactly, transformer is called as frequency matching device. So transformer is called as frequency matching device. Whereas induction machine is called as? The induction machine is called as frequency converting device or frequency converter. Frequency converter is the frequency converter and this is the frequency matching device. Frequency matching device is the transformer. Frequency converting device is the induction machine. Why it is called as frequency converter? Because the rotor frequency is slip times of the stator frequency. That's why it is called as frequency converter. Okay, still more, what are the differences between them? And again, and again, the main difference is that the air gap. Generally, the air gap between primary and secondary, actually here we are called as primary and secondary, the air gap is very, very, very less or minimum in transformer. In transformer, air gap is minimum. In between, in between the primary and secondary, the air gap is minimum. Whereas in our induction machine, whereas in our induction machine, compared to our transformer, the air gap length is, the air gap length is maximum or greater than the transformer. What I told you, the air gap in our induction machine is greater than transformer. The air gap length in our induction machine greater than transformer. So what happens, sir? If air gap length is more, what are the frequency? What are the consequences? What happens, sir? In any electrical machine, remember, very important point. Remember carefully. In any electrical machine, if air gap length increases, if air gap length increases, what happens? It draws more magnetizing current. The machine draws the more magnetizing current. Magnetizing current increases nothing but automatically the no load current increases. If no load current increases, the power factor reduces. If no load current increases, the power factor reduces. Very, very important. In any electrical machine, if air gap length increases, power factor reduces. Now they are asking questions in competitive exams. In following two, like a transformer and induction machine. I have a two machines which are equal rating. In which of the following machine, the power factor is minimum? Tell me the answer. In which of the following machine, the power factor is minimum? The machine which having the highest air gap, that machine should contain less power factor. Nothing but our induction machine, less power factor. In our induction machine, power factor is less. In our induction machine, power factor is less. Why? When air gap length is more, when air gap length is more, what happens? The magnetizing current increases as well as no load current increases. Magnetizing current increases, no load current increases, and power factor is decreases, and power factor is less. What about our transformer? In transformer, Comparatively, magnetizing current is less. 
No load current is less. What about power factor? What about power factor? Power factor is more compared to our induction machine. They are asking question. In many competitive exams, you can see in previous questions. In the following, like a transformer and induction machine, in which of the following machine, the no load power factor is less. The no load power factor is less in our induction machine. And no load power factor is more in our transformer. No load power factor is more in our transformer. Now they are asking question. What is the no load power factor of the induction machine? The typical value. Can you have an idea? What is the no load power factor of the induction machine? Okay, can you tell me what is the no load power factor of the transformer? Yeah, let's see the no load power factor of the induction machine. The no load power factor of the induction machine around 0 0.18 to 0 0.2 lagging. No load power factor of the induction machine 0 0.18 to 0 0.2 lagging. Whereas no load power factor angle, no load power factor angle of the induction machine. No load power factor angle of the induction machine around 80 to 85 degrees. No load power factor angle 80 to 85 degrees. And no load power factor 0 0.18 to 0 0.2 lagging. What about transformer? What about transformer? In transformer, in transformer, the no load power factor is 0 0.2 to 0 0.25 lagging. 0 0.2 to 0 0.25 lagging. I already told you, in our transformer, power factor is greater than induction machine. Don't ask me again why it is. Why it is? Because of air gap. If air gap length is less, the power factor is more. Yeah, we know that. And what about power factor angle? The power factor angle in our transformer, 75 to 80 degrees. The power factor angle in our transformer, 75 to 80 degrees. Fine art. And power factor 0 0.22, 0 0.25 lagging. Okay. What about no load current? Can you tell me what is the no load current in our transformer? In my transformer, generally the no load current is no load current is two to six percent of full load current. Two to six percent of full load current. In our transformer, the no load current is two to six percent of full load current. Whereas in our induction machine, whereas in our induction machine, the no load current is the no load current is nearly 30 to 35 percent of full load current. See here, air gap length is more, that's why the no load current also more. The no load current of the induction machine, 30 to 35 percent of full load current. 30 to 35 percent of full load current. Right, these are the, the main differences between the transformer as well as our induction machine. The main differences between these two is very important. See once.